What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we have ourselves a TTO2, the BRZ. Alright, so as you guys saw in the thumbnail, we have a new project. I have a new project that I'm going to be working on and uh, I have decided to do something a little different with this project so I ordered as you guys saw in the thumbnail I ordered these whoa the light sorry about the lighting but I ordered these wheels that from a uh, drift element DS racing drift element wheels the these wheels are actually you're actually able to change the offset of the wheel so as you can see here I have this wheel sitting pretty forward well this wheel is sitting pretty forward the uh, spokes there but then if you look at this one here you can see it got the deep dish in there so these are drift spec Drift Spec RC Wheels. There we go. From Drift Element, DS Racing Drift Element. As you can see here, you have different offsets right there from 4 to 12 millimeter offsets. This is everything that came with the wheels. And when I got this guy, <laughs> when I got this guy for Father's Day, my wife actually got me this for Father's Day. So when I got this guy um, for Father's Day again, I'll say it again, I'll repeat it again, I got it for Father's Day, I figure, you know what, I'm going to make this look a little different than you normal. Um, instead of using the stock wheels that come with it, I'm doing something a little bit different and making it my own. So... I picked up these wheels, the tires, I'm planning on using the stock tires that come with the kit. Um, I actually already opened up this box just so I could get tires out and try them out on here, try them out on the wheels and see what it's going to look like. And I got to say, I feel like a crackhead right now, <laughs> but I got to say, I like it. By the way, it is 4th of July as I'm making this video, so you guys might end up hearing some pops and bangs. It is 4th of July. I have a window open a little bit, um, but I might actually close it. There we go. You might not be able to hear as much, but yes, it is 4th of July and I am making this video. So, I figured these wheels are going to give the BRZ, the new BRZ, TTO2 a little better look. Um, I am not going to assemble this on camera because everybody knows how it gets done. I already did it once with the Monte Carlo, which I have that guy right here. So I already did a build on the TTO2. Monte Carlo Subaru. I'm not going to do it with this. And I just realized now I got two Subarus. <laughs> um, so I am not going to do it with this one. But um, I am going to see how these wheels are going to look with the body. No, the body is not painted yet. Actually, a matter of fact, this is what I'll do. So I'm not going to show you guys all the techno babble, all, all the technical stuff with the um, with the thing. So of course you got your parts, more parts. The one thing that I do have to mention about this kit, actually, if you guys have noticed, this thing now brings a Hobbywing brushed ESC, which I believe is in 
this box and now I'm looking for my blade to open up the box and I can't find my blade. Found my blade. So yeah, so this brings a Hobby Wing brushed ESC and the Mabuchi RS540 Tamiya tuned motor, which I believe the Subaru, the Monte Carlo also brought the same motor, but the difference now is the Hobby Wing ESC. Is that the Hobby Wing ESC that is coming out with these um, with these things now. So here we go. There we are. The brush ESC. Hobby Wing brushed ESC. This thing is 3S capable. 2 to 3S lipo brushed. So yeah. <laughs> there there goes my warranty. I I don't use these. My lipos don't use these. So I that's gonna go anyway um, a lot of you have seen just put it back in here somehow so a lot of you have seen this particular one um, my wife got me this one I was kind of hoping for the new GT86 because um, it ain't the FRS no more the new GT86 but I guess, I guess I can do with this one. I do like I like the I, like, I do like the Subaru. Like everybody knows, it, it's a good looking body. What I haven't done yet is I haven't done anything with this thing yet. Literally, just took out the tires. Just opened up the box to take out the tires. And the one thing I do like that Tamiya has done now is do the cutouts. Um, so this thing does look awesome. I do like the way it looks. I think some of these parts that have to get painted are going to be a pain in the butt. For instance, the front grill here, I know that's black. I believe this part here is black. Uh, the side is black. There's a couple black parts that's going to be have to be, get painted black because I don't want to paint them all blue because if you look at the car in person, it's not painted all blue. So as you can see here, you got the black there, you got the black there, you got the black uh, the under bumper, you got the black over here. So there's gonna be a lot of black that I'm gonna have to do. So I got a lot of masking. So the other thing that this Subaru brings is light buckets. And light buckets for the rear too. Look at that. You got light buckets for the front and the rear. Very nice. Very nice touch. Very nice. I like it. Yes, very nice. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So, okay. Boom. There we go. That's... Everybody that's seen the Tamiya. Here's the wheels. Stock wheels. So everybody that has seen the Tamiya... Uh, kits they know what the kits are like um, so this kit I'm not going to be using I'm not going to be using some stuff from here we got some upgrades coming for it that is why I am not filming it yet um, so I'm going to be waiting for some stuff to come in and I'm going to build it but in the meantime, one thing that I do want to do is, since I have a TTO2 chassis already built, since I have one already built, what I want to see is... And again, this is a Monte Carlo, so I've yet <laughs> started this kit. I still have yet to do anything with it. 
still have yet to finish the body. That's the biggest pain in the butt, as everybody knows. The biggest pain in the butt is a damn body. Painting it and putting the stickers on it is the biggest pain in the ass. So, what I am planning on doing here is... Anyway, what I'm planning on doing is I want to see how this body is going to look on here. Ooh. Hold up. Something ain't jiving. Something just ain't jiving, my friend. Alright, so I just want to try to find out how this body is going to look with these wheels. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is use the Monte Carlo, the Super Monte Carlo, um, the Super Monte Carlo chassis and see how well this is going to work. So I'll be right back. All right, so I wasn't going to do it, but I did. <laughs> so I was not really ready to cut the body and put it on and see what it looks like, but whoo, I got to tell you, it looked nice. It looked very nice. I like it in it. I like it in it. So again, it's not the final product, but... Let me see if I can make some room here so I can put this guy on and show you guys what she's going to look like. So here we go. And as you guys can see, this looks nice. This looks very, very nice. I like the way, I really, really like the way it came out. Turn a little bit more this way. So I really like the way this came out. I'm kind of hoping to find some wheel arches to cover the back here because this is the offset that I want. And as you guys can see there, the wheel is actually poking out a little bit too much. So I'm kind of hoping to find a wheel arch for the back so I can be able to, this is the lip that I want. This right here is a lip that I want for this. I do not want to change the offset for it. Nothing like that. I want this to look like that, except I want the wheel covered. Um, I might end up messing around with the wheel arches just to see what oh, the wheel arches. I'm sorry. I might end up messing around with the wheel offset um, with the offsets to see if I can get this wheel to tuck in a little bit more. Um, I don't want to go. I don't want to lose that lip that it's got on the back. I definitely do not want to lose it because that is the lip that I'm going for. I mean, as you guys can see here, the lip, that right there is what I'm going for. That is the lip that I'm going for. The look that I'm going for in the back. So with it up a little bit, I think it looks awesome. I think it looks absolutely awesome, guys. The way it's going to come out. Now it's got to see if I can find. Um, oh, that sticker is actually coming off. Oh, look at that. Now I just got to see if I can find a um, wheel arches for these. I don't know if there's any available or not. Um, if you guys could help me out uh, with trying to find some wheel arches for this thing. For this, just wheel arches in general. Um, I don't I don't know. I'm gonna have to look and see. 
because I kind of really don't want to mess with that. I kind of really don't want to mess with the um, with the offset of the rear wheels. I like the way it sits on there, and I would like to see if I could probably tuck the wheel in more, the whole assembly, tuck the whole wheel in with doing something here. Oh, something's not right. So, I'm kind of hoping to do something with the rear wheel. Um, I don't know if you guys can see all that space right there. So, I'm kind of hoping I can mess with the hex a little bit or something and see if I can push that guy in, like, in closer. So, I'm going to try that, but not on this one because, again, this is the Subaru Monte Carlo the WRX Monte Carlo um, chassis and I don't want to change that up. This is what this chassis is going to be. The chassis for that is going to be built. I'm just waiting on some uh, bearings to come in. Um, I got a couple upgrades that is going to be coming in so I can work on that. Um, I just don't want to put it together then have to take it apart just to put the bearings in and some certain upgrades that I want to do on it. So. That is that. I also have, I just have a couple stuff coming in, a couple things coming in. Um, mainly parts that tend to break sooner is what I'm going to be replacing. And then as time goes on, this guy with these wheels, I'm going to be doing some stuff with it. Um, upgrades and whatnot. So we will see how that goes. So, guys, and girls. Hope you all enjoyed the video and um, hope you guys like the content <laughs> that I just did. Uh, I do have other things that I'm going to be working on, but uh, hey, this is what I got for right now. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in another video. You all have a good one.